Arch Linux is a versatile and independently developed Linux distribution that has garnered a dedicated following among enthusiasts and professionals alike. Known for its simplicity, minimalism, and user-centric design, Arch offers a unique approach to system management and customization. Now let's look at the history and philosophy of Arch Linux. Launched in March 2002 by a Canadian programmer, Jude Venite, Arch Linux drew inspiration from the minimalist principles of the Krux distribution. Vinet aimed to create a distribution that was simple, lightweight, and flexible, adhering to the KISS philosophy, which is keep it simple, stupid. This approach emphasizes simplicity in design, allowing users to build their systems from the ground up without unnecessary additions or modifications. In October 2007, Vinet passed the leadership to Aaron Griffin, and as of February 2022, Levent Poliak has been at the helm. Now let's talk about the rolling release model. One of Arch Linux's defining feature is its rolling release model. Unlike traditional distributions that offers major releases periodically, Arch provides continuous updates. This means users install the system once and receive updates indefinitely, ensuring access to the latest software versions without the need for complete system overalls. This model keeps the system current but requires users to stay informed about updates to maintain system stability. Now let's talk about the Pacman Package Manager. Central to Arch Linux functionality is its Package Manager, Pamac, designed specifically for Arch. Pamac streamlines the process of installing, updating, and managing software packages. It handles package dependencies automatically, simplifying system maintenance. With a simple command, users can synchronize their system with the official repositories, ensuring all installed packages are up to date. Now let's talk about the Arch user repository, which is AUR. Beyond the official repositories, Arch boards the Arch user repository, which is AUR, a community-driven platform that hosts user-created PKG build scripts. The scripts allows users to compile and install packages not found in the official repositories. The AUR significantly expands the available software, fostering a collaborative environment where users contribute and maintain packages, enhancing the overall ecosystem. Now let's talk about the installation and configuration. Arch Linux is re-owned for its do-it-yourself which is DIY approach. The installation process is manual, providing a minimal base system upon which users build their environment. This method offers complete control over system components, from the kernel to the desktop environment. While this approach demands a higher level of user involvement and understanding, it results in a system tailored precisely to the user's needs. For those seeking guidance, the Arch Wiki offers comprehensive documentation to assist throughout the installation and configuration process. Now let's talk about the community and documentation. The Arch Linux community is a cornerstone of the distribution's success. Users and developers collaborate closely, contributing to the forums, mailing lists, and the Arch Wiki. The Arch Wiki, in particular, is lauded for its thoroughness and clarity, serving as a valuable resource not only for Arch users but for the broader Linux community. This culture of sharing knowledge and assisting others fosters a supportive environment for both newcomers and seasoned users. Now let's talk about the design principles. Arch Linux design is guided by five core principles. Simplicity, modernity, pragmatism, user centrality, and versatility. Let's talk about the simplicity. Arch strives for a straightforward system without unnecessary additions, allowing users to understand and control their environment fully. Now let's talk about the modernity. The distribution aims to include the latest stable software releases, ensuring users have access to new features and improvements promptly. Now let's talk about the pragmatism. Decisions are made based on practical consideration, balancing functionality, and elegance without adhering strictly to ideology stances. 
Now let's talk about the user centrality. Arch is designed for users who are willing to engage deeply with their system, offering tools and documentation to empower them. Now let's talk about the final thing which is versatility. Its minimalist base allows Arch to be molded into a system that serves various purposes from servers to desktops, tailored by user. Now let's talk about the derivatives and influence. Arch Linux flexibility and robustness have inspired numerous derivatives distributions. Notable among this is Manjaro, which aims to provide a more user-friendly experience while retaining Arch core features. Other derivatives include Endeavor OS, Arco Linux, and Garuda Linux, each offering unique features and enhancements built upon the Arch foundation. This distribution often include graphical installers and pre-configured environments, making Arch power more accessible to a broader audience. Now finally, let's talk about the conclusion. Arch Linux stands out in the landscape of Linux distribution for its commitment to simplicity, user empowerment, and cutting-edge software delivery. Its DIY philosophy appeals to users who desire complete control over their system and are willing to invest the time to configure and maintain them. Supported by a vibrant community and extensive documentation, Arch continues to thrive as a testament to the power of collaborative, user-driven development in the open source world. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.